What's up guys? Welcome to Queen Keeps It Real. If you want to go along with this journey with me, I'll appreciate you. Love all my supporters and I literally appreciate each and every one of you so much. Like if you're watching this, you a real one for real. Before I start this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't already. So this story time is about an ex that cheated on me, then had the audacity to say I embarrassed him. So let's get into it. So I had an ex where we started off all good, you know, like any other relationship that starts off all puppy love and kisses. But you know, as time flies by, it goes downhill unless you guys are just perfect and meant to be. So you know, I thought I loved this man, but as time went by, I noticed he was kind of off and acting weird and Usually females or vice versa, they could tell when their partner is acting weird or some type of way. So I broke out of character because I'm not the type to check phones, but I had checked his phone and there was these messages. They were like talking about why do you make that funny face or whatever, just like joking around, I guess. And so I asked him, I was like, who is this person with no name? Like, what was, what was y'all talking about? Like, you know what I'm saying? Because I had a gut feeling that something was up so i was like who is this you know what is y'all talking about it? you know what i'm saying and he was like oh it's just my manager we was just joking around or whatever so i dusted it off i did not forget about it because i was like something about that is weird as fuck you know what i'm saying so i didn't forget about it but you know dusted it off whatever and better you know you better be right three days went by and i don't know what made me check his phone but I did, and this motherfucker was lying the whole time. It was indeed a person from work, but it was not his manager, and it was a female. Mm-hmm. They was flirting in the DM, you know what I'm saying? Like, they was flirting, talking about, oh, I'm gonna take you on a date, da 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 But yeah, he was trying to plan a date and blah, 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 blah. You know, flirty shit. I don't really remember. I think I did go off on him. And then the next day, he was talking about how he needs a ride from work. And he was he usually get, got rides from his parents. But this day, I was like, hmm, I'll just pop up at his job and pick him up. You know what I'm saying? Let me give him a favor. So, I hop in the car, right? And I start driving his job. I go into his job. And let me tell you, I broke out of character so bad because I almost hopped over that Wendy's counter to literally find the bitch. Whoa, calm down, whoa, Jamal. Whoa, whoa. Don't pull out the nine. <laughs> and he was like, bro, you're embarrassing me. You're embarrassing me. And he got mad. He, like, he dead ass got mad at me. Like, he was going to break up with me for embarrassing him. I broke up with him first, though. <laughs> but, bitch, how you going to get mad at me for embarrassing you? But you was embarrassing me that whole damn time. But now that I look back at it, it was not her fault. And I'm glad she was not that there that day because I low-key embarrassed myself at the same time. And I have gotten in contact with her to, you know, apologize and speak to her about the whole situation and let her know that, you know, he did have a girl and blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm grown like that, you know what I'm saying? I might have not been at the time because... Men can really make you feel the craziest and most insecure. I mean, vice versa too, because us women can surely make our kings feel that way too. If you are not healed, if you are insecure, if you are just negative, you know what I'm saying? We can surely make our men feel the same way too. That's why it's important to make sure you're healed and you love yourself before you get into a relationship so your relationship is all toxic and crazy and you know you could just love yourself without having to second think and you can know when to leave when there's a red flag instead of like I just want to be with him, you know what I'm saying? You know what your worth is. But anyways, what is crazy is about a week after this situation, I don't know why, but I forgave his bitch ass. Yeah, I forgave him. Go ahead. Go ahead and tell me how stupid I am. Go ahead. Are you dumb? I think she's I dumb. I think she's dumb. I think she's dumb. Are you? 
like medically speaking anyways um i had got back with him about and then a week later i had checked his phone no i didn't even check his phone i wanted his snapchat on my laptop actually and he was hanging out with a female at his homie's house hugging on her planning dates again like he literally had no risk he said the same thing to every female and he literally would get with whoever i could say i got w like that man like easy as fuck you know what i'm saying but anyways moral of the story don't let anyone make you feel insecure and make you go crazy because you literally embarrass yourself and look stupid. So, more of the story, don't let people get to you, you know what I'm saying? Love yourself, love yourself, you know what I'm saying? So that's it for today's podcast. I know it don't really have the vibe of a podcast because I don't really have my setup or my mic yet. Eventually, I'll get my mic and eventually, a while after that, I'll get my setup but this is just a starter you know what i'm saying i did do story times before but i didn't call it a podcast but then i realized that i should because i'm not doing pranks and vlogs and stuff i do story times so why not and then i can eventually put it on the actual podcast app and you know what I'm saying? but i'm gonna wait till i get better at story times and communicating and stuff like that this is also like my therapy for me like it feels good letting out stuff like even though some of it don't need to be let out to the public like me renting or whatever it feel good i'm not gonna lie like this is straight therapy and i feel like weight is off my shoulder every single time I hope you guys have a blessed night and let me know your biggest red flags in the comments or if you're bad at reading them like me